God bless you and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be wet sanding the wing with some 600 grit and applying another coat over it because it is kind of light right here. I will be spraying this in the canopy paint booth, which I put up in a previous video. Link will be in the description with all that information. The car still looks good after a month and a half with the spray can paint job, no clear on it. It still looks awesome, but I do need to wet sand the whole thing and put the 2K clear over it. But in order to do that, the paint needs to be good. Uh, and you can see that white coming through. So I do need to take that off, take it out to the canopy paint booth and spray it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this off, wet sand it and take it out there. And then we'll go over more. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna help support the channel, there will be a link in the description for merch like this. It's a screen printed shirt, very nice quality. And I have other things on there as well. So definitely consider checking it out and uh, helping support the channel so I can continue making videos like this and better. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. We, we, we jokes, 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 jokes. All right, so I'm in the canopy paint booth and got this prepped. Uh, I need to wipe it down with some uh, rubbing alcohol and then we're ready to go. Now I have the box fan and the filter right here as you can see and it has these little straps because obviously this whole thing moves when the wind blows, but that'll pull the fumes out. We've got the EPA filters up on the windows and it's plenty bright enough in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started painting. So hope you guys enjoy. It looks a lot better spraying it in the canopy paint booth. It's cleaned up a lot. So uh, I'm gonna let this go ahead and dry and then we'll get it put back on the car. But overall, looks a lot better for sure. I really like being able to spray in the canopy paint booth. This thing puts up pretty easy. It's holding up to the wind perfectly fine. The only downside I see to putting the floor in is it's really sticky. But as you can see, the filter in the box fan did its job and this turned out really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry. All right, so it's been drying and it is ready to be installed now. I went ahead and took the uh, canopy paint booth down and put it all up. But uh, this thing just looks really stupid without the wing. So if anyone ever wonders why I like the wing on it, it's because it really makes this car look a lot better. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on.
All right, here it is. Really glossy and looks really, really good. So we will let this dry for a few more weeks, wet sand it, and then 2K clear. Uh, it'll look really good, but I just wanted to use that canopy paint booth to show you how good it is in there. Obviously, it sprayed really well in there because there was no bugs flying around, nothing to get in the paint, and it looks really, really nice compared to what it did. So there is some orange peel that will wet sand out. No big deal there. Once we do the 2K clear, there will be orange peel in the clear. We'll wet sand out and buff, and it'll look really glossy. So this is about the gloss level it will have with the 2K clear on it, but it will always look like that, unless it's really, really dirty. But the car is really, really dirty right now, so the rest is not near as shiny as the uh, wing is, but it is dry and looks pretty good. So... I will be doing some more stuff. I am trying to get like bodywork stuff done. I know you guys are probably like, why do bodywork after you painted it? YouTube's kind of weird when it's a full-time job. I don't expect everyone to understand analytics, but get a paint video out, the views go up, the income goes up, then I can afford this stuff to fix it. So it's kind of weird. It's not like a normal job, um, but I am thankful that the Lord has blessed me with this kind of work. I get to proclaim the gospel, the good news that God gave his only son in our place and uh, that he loves you, every one of us, even where we are. We don't have to change to come to him. We just need to come to him, then the change will be done in us through him. But uh, I am super thankful for all of you guys that watch these videos and share them around. The views have dropped tremendously because I'm proclaiming the gospel. So please do your best to share them around. Hit the like button and drop comments so we can fight against the system and let them see the good news. And that is that God loves each and every one of us. But uh, yeah, it came out pretty good and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So I will have more stuff coming in the future if God is willing. So please stay tuned. If you are new here, please click that subscribe button. It's totally free to do. Helps the channel grow and we can get the good news out. But uh, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and get off here and uh, I'm going to roll the outro. So here we go. There will be a link in the description for a free Gideon Bible download for anybody who wants to know the good news. And the good news is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And that anybody who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. We'll be given a new heart, a new mind, a new desire, a new fiery passion that burns for the Lord. And to get the word out. Because everybody is headed to hell. Everyone. I was too, but now I am saved by grace through my faith and that Jesus got on the cross and took my spot. He took your spot. I know you probably don't feel good. This message offends many people, but I'm not here to offend you. I'm here to wake you up that he is coming soon. So repent and turn away from your sin. God has given us so much and when much is given, much is required. So I am required because this is my new heart and my new mind to tell you guys that Jesus loves you. I know you may not feel it. You may see bad things and be like, but James, if God is so real, why are bad things in the world? Well, I'll tell you why. Because sin is in the world. And sin was passed down by nature through Adam. So we naturally are sinful people. But in order to get rid of the sin, we need to be clothed with righteousness. And once you're clothed with righteousness, God will no longer see the sin. He will see his son. And we can't do that on our own. We cannot get to heaven on our own. Buddha cannot get us to heaven. Okay? Only Jesus Christ, he's the only way, the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. I tell you this not to scare you. I tell you this because it's exciting and good news that we have a chance to go to heaven and be with the Father and the Son. And it's an amazing thing. So if you guys want to know more about this, definitely open up the Word of God. He's trying to speak to you. He's calling out to you. You're not seeing this message by accident. You're not seeing it because I posted at the end of all of my videos. I do that because I'm trying to reach that one person. Jesus left the 99 and went after the one. You're the one. I was the one. He has called us all to a purpose. What's your purpose? So that's something you need to talk with God. Have a relationship. Get rid of the religion. Get rid of the denominations. None of that matters. There's not going to be a Catholic side of heaven and a Christian side of heaven. We're all there because of Jesus Christ. Not because you. Not because what you did. You cannot work your way to heaven. The only thing you can do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth as the scripture says. I love you and I just wanted to let you guys know this. That everyone has a chance and that's amazing news. So, if you guys want to know more, links in the description. Download the Bible and start reading. I recommend starting around Luke. Just start at Luke. It's just a good place to start. Um, but it's up to you where you start. It's your Bible. 
But that is basically it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Thank you.